Morning everyone. I am doing something different today, or painting on something different today. I have a, it's a 7 ply, 7 millimeter, 7, 7 millimeter premium plywood. I like painting on wood. It's uh, actually my favorite thing to paint on. I've just got some black gesso here. And I'm just going to cover it with black gesso. It's just getting it ready. When you when you got wood, you need to uh, prime it, get it ready. It's kind of like a canvas, but wood is very paint thirsty, <laughs> paint hungry. It sucks it up. So one, two, or three coats of gesso, and it should be good. I'm doing uh, this is part of the was a YouTube hop. This video, it's going to be Mario from the game Mario. I used to play it when I was a kid. <laughs> I used to get really angry. I actually can't play games anymore because um, I'm pretty sure someone's going to call the police and say that I'm abusing my kids or killing someone because I get, I get, I get very angry and I have a lot of choice words to say. I recently got um, the new version of Crash Bandicoot because I used to play that all the time and I was pretty good at it. I'm not so good at it now. <laughs> My dogs ran away from me <laughs> when I was trying to play it. They, they wouldn't come near me and I had to stop because I was just getting too angry. But anyway, this one isn't Crash Bandicoot. This one is Mario. Now beware that Mario is a, um, whatever the word is, you can't paint this and sell it. You can just paint it for yourself or give it away to somebody. It's copyrighted like Disney. And just going to let that dry and I'll probably do two more coats and then I will come back and we'll begin. Okay, this is my canvas here. I've just covered the other coloured bits. I've just got the blue bit open because I just want to do a couple of spatters on there and then I'll open it up and do a little bit of extra. But yeah, I've just got two crappy canvases there. I've got this big brush. It's just a um, cheap brush I got from Bunnings, I think. And airbrush colour, which I got from Aldi a couple of years ago. <laughs> I'm using this one because it is uh, watery and you want watery paint. And I also have this, which is a brush I had when I was a kid, but I find it makes a really good um, scratching in paint. So here we go, here's the blue paint. Just putting a fair bit on here. Just gonna go. Like I said, I don't care about those other two canvases. to make some sort of effect. Then I'm going to let that dry and I'll do the red and the yellow. Hey guys, this is Christina again. I'm part of the Aussie YouTube Hop and this month it is playing with your suppliers and, and things like that. So I've done the splattering 
which I don't mind doing, <laughs> that's fine. And I've added texture with that comb that I had. I don't know. If you should be able to see that. There's texture there. Now I have quickly traced in Mario. And as you can see, I have a blue finger. This is not something I usually do so yeah bear with me I have make sure when you're using your fingers or anything that's going to be touching your skin make sure you use paint that isn't toxic like cadmium paint don't use it um, pretty sure cobalt and chromium are also not so good to touch so I've just got a primary blue it's fine just check your Check your labels. These ones here are all pretty good. None of them have cancer warnings or anything like that. Some of the Liquitex and Golden do because they're good quality paint. Anyway, as we all know, Mario has blue pants. So, let's see how painting with a finger goes. I'm guessing I might need a couple of layers. He has blue overalls. It's what's today? Today's Tuesday morning. After this, I will be doing a colouring. I really do love doing these YouTube hops. They all do um, scrapbooking and you know all that sort of stuff, mixed media, and I kind of feel like the odd person out. <laughs> but I enjoy it. I forgot to get the colour for his skin. <laughs> Like I say, this one's easy, so we're just going to go get an actual, just a skin colour. So I've got a pale flesh that I'll probably use. Still looking like Papa Smurf. <laughs> so I'll change the label of this to Finger Painting Papa Smurf. Okay, let's try the white, which is his gloves. To do the fingers and that, I'm going to have to use something that can get into the small areas. So I have white on my finger. Okay, so I'm just using my finger and just going on where his glove is. There's no details done yet. Because it's very hard to do details with your finger, as I have discovered. <laughs> Just putting a fairly thick coat on here. It's probably going to need another one when it's dry. And we'll just do this other hand here. Like I said, there's no details for the fingers yet because, well, i got fat fingers. <laughs> It's harder to paint with your hands. It sure is. Because you have to go like this. 
that was Jessie pointing out the obvious that it's hard to paint with your hands. <laughs> it is. It's really hard. As with all our paintings, we'll do another coat. Okay, I'm using Brilliant Red from Reeves. It's non-toxic, so I can touch it. <laughs> oh, this is very different. So his shirt is red. Try not to get it mixed up with the white of his hand. Or oh, what colour will you end up with? Now you could do any kind of texture really if you wanted this to be oh let's see if I can zoom in. If you wanted this to be um, very textured you could do 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 it. Get a lot more paint on your finger and and just do that. I might do that on the next layer, but right now I just want it smooth. Otherwise, the second layer that I put on is going to be difficult because it's going to be bumpy. Okay, for his face here, I'm just going to cover the whole thing in uh, skin tone light from Matisse. Now if you want to check, you check the back and it will tell you if it's got anything bad or if you shouldn't touch it or if it's toxic or cancerous or whatever. Now this one isn't so I can touch it. So we'll just do his face, just slather it on. And when we're done, we'll let it dry and we'll do another coat just of what we've already done. We won't worry about the details of the face just yet or the hands. I just want to get all those colours on first. Okay, following on the theme of playing with your paints, I have these, I call them earbuds, but apparently they're called Q-tips. I don't know. You clean your ears with them, but you're not supposed to. <laughs> I'll read it. I clean my ears with them, but you're not supposed to. I have the red that I was using before, and I also have... Oh, zoomed in. I have the red that I was using before and I have carbon black and I'm just mixing them together to make where are you to make a deep red so I want, I want it more red than black obviously so I only add a little bit of black now I don't know how this is going to work but Don't know why I <laughs> agreed to paint without a paintbrush, but it's not so bad. Now this is the underside of his hat. You need this dark in order to make the hat look like it's a hat. That makes sense. So we'll see how we go. Maybe using my fingers <laughs> is a better way to go. I'm going to give it a go with my finger.
also fairly dark up here and here. I'm using my Q-tip for this one. It's a little bit of white. This is to simulate the edge of the the edge of the hat. And he also has this big circle here. Which I'm going to do with my finger. My finger seems to work better than those Q-tips. And then my finger won't do small areas. This is where the M for Mario goes. It's in a big white circle. Just got some white here, just doing a quick highlight. Oh, this isn't as easy as it looks. <laughs> Okay, I've got a Q-tip, I've got some black mixed with the blue, just like I did with the red there because I just want the blue a little bit darker. I've just got blue here just to go over this again. And just to blend that little bit of black in here. So it looks better when it's blended. I'm going to do the same here. Just got blue on my finger. Using my finger up here again, just getting some red and going over this dark just to lighten it up and blend it in. But you don't want it too, too dark and you don't want it too light. Oh. <laughs> Oh my finger, don't touch that, don't touch it. And what did it do? It touched it. I'm just getting some yellow ochre slowly. And I'm getting burnt umber too. Yellow ochre and burnt umber. And I'm going to finish off the shoes. Okay, so I have yellow ochre. So this bit here, let me see that, yep. And then I'm going to get burnt umber and blend it in. Clean your finger. I'm 
small brown umber. I'm going to do the same with this one. This is just burnt umber just to go over the whole shoe. And then some yellow ochre. This is a highlight here. Teeny tiny little one there. Okay, let's see if we can use the Q tip. <laughs> I'm just dabbing here. This is yellow ochre. So about there, this is the bottom of the shoe. Just dabbing. Sorry, I was just dabbing there. I was just doing that. Do the same over here. The burnt umber is still wet, which is what I want. I'm just going to tap this. Just tapping it, the yellow ochre up into the burnt umber in an attempt to make it look <laughs> blended. <laughs> oh. That was yellow ochre and I've just got some burnt umber because it's light here but it's not as light as the bottom of the shoe. Oh, this is not easy. <laughs> Looking messy. <laughs> oh, there's a reason why people don't paint with cute dips. Alright, I have some blue and black. Did I just put my arm in? Doesn't matter. Oh, he's got a pocket here. I don't know if you can see that, but I just did a black line. Okay, I may not have to cheat. I found this. It's a dotting tool. It's not a paintbrush. Oh, so I'm going to give the fine lines a go with this. Yay! Just got some black. Now I'm getting some white. I didn't wash off that black. this pocket line there and now with the black I'm going to do okay now we're going to do his 
waistline. Okay, okay, now for the white, it's going to be light grey, so mix black with white, and you're going to do a little line underneath each of those black lines that you just did in the grey. There's also on the bottom here, it's going to be another line, black, because it's sitting on the shoe and it's creating a shadow, so we'll make it black. And the same over here. I'm going to mix the white with the black to make a grey to do the lines. Doing the line, doing the line under the black. Sorry, the white with the black. Doing a line under the black with the grey. So his belly's there and he's got another line that goes there. Now we're at the top of his overalls. I'm going to go out here and make a little arrow shape because these are overalls. And he needs his little um, straps. I'm going to put a fair bit of texture in this so that it looks like it's standing above his clothes, which it is. So I'm putting a fair bit of paint on and I'm dotting instead of trying to rub it. Same over here, except over here you don't really see it because it's over there. Okay, so now you've got the white line that goes on the inside and goes all the way down. Try not to mess up your black line, you're probably best to wait till your black line is dry. I 
when you get to this side, the white line is on the other side of the black line. So it's on the left hand side. So here you want it on, um, yeah, it's on the same. So you want it on the left hand side. So here it's on the left hand side of the black line. And then I get over here, and it's going to be on the left hand side of this black line, which is the outside of the black line. Does that make sense? Makes sense to me anyway. There, done. <laughs> That's it. No more. Can't do no more. Oh, we all know how much I love hands. This is black. somehow his thumb rubbing down and this is his finger which is bent A bit of black and a little bit of white on the Q-tip. Just a bit. <laughs> this bit here is fairly in the shadow. And so is this bit. And this bit. And just getting some more white. I don't like that, it's too dark. His armpit there, and um, a little bit of red and black on a Q-tip. That was white.
got some black and I'm just doing one of the lines here on the hat. I got some red. Doing my dotting. Just making the letter M. Got some black and I'm going to go on the outside of this white. Doing some yellow, just primary yellow, medium yellow, just not cadmium yellow because you don't want to poison yourself. So, he's a happy fella, so he's smiling. If you can get your dotting tool to do that. <laughs> My gosh, my gosh. Just doing the um, where his ear ends. Just for myself, really. You don't have to do it. I just, I just like to know because sometimes my brain doesn't function. And there's his other ear. It's just a little, little one on that side. Now the big thing we have, which <sighs> takes up half of his face, is his nose. Good morning. Now back to our fingers. I have titanium white and I'm just going to do his eye, hopefully. I think I really, really need a smaller finger. <laughs> I should get my son to do this.
Yep. <laughs> now I'm getting some burnt umber for his moustache. I think I'm going to use a Q-tip for this. I also got some glazing liquid as well. That one there is the glazing liquid. That one there is the burnt umber. That's titanium white. So, burnt umber. Now I'm going to use my finger with the blending I'm going to, I'm going to do. This is the flesh colour that we're using, the um, skin tone light. Just going over the nose so that I can cover up those lines. And so that when I add the shading, I can blend it in to this skin tone. And the shading is going to be burnt umber with a little bit of the glazing liquid. Now I'm cleaning my finger and just getting the glazing liquid. teeny tiny little bit of burnt umber over here with glazing liquid it's kind of looking like a nose <laughs> I'm going to get the burnt umber just mainly over here remind me never ever ever Oh, goes over his moustache. That's the problem I was having. So, we'll do his teeth. Which are, well, really shouldn't do teeth white, but. We'll do his teeth white. Why not? We've done everything else different. Little, little, little bit of burnt umber just along the top and the bottom. I'm just stealing it from the mustache. And he also has a little bit of chin. Which means there is a little bit of a highlight right there too. Now red for his tongue. And I think I'm going to use a Q-tip for this one. Black glazing liquid. Okay, I'm getting my dotting tool and the burnt umber.
and I'm putting a little bit of black in here because there's always it always appears dark when your mouth is open You can do a black line around that yellow button. Alright, something that's really annoying me, I mean it's all really annoying me, but I'm going to redo this hat, this part anyway. to go out just a little bit more. That's what's annoying me. When you're doing this white, don't mix it because it will turn pink. And then And then we need another black line. I hate using this dotting tool. Right, finger and the pink. We'll go back over that moustache. Because obviously my finger is not delicate. <laughs> Just going back over the moustache. Just the very bottom bit here. Bit of white. Boop, 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 boop. And put it on his nose. Alright, okay, I gave in. Can't do the eyes with that dotting tool, and I can't do it with the um, Q tip either. This is black. Oh my god.
I got some burnt sienna now, and I'm going. I've got a Q-tip. I'm going to do his hair. And I got too much on my Q-tip. Yeah, I just broke my Q-tip. <laughs> It's a lovely day. It's a lovely day. Got some burnt umbra. Just getting some black to go around the edge of this hair here. And over here. There's my phone. White. Not dry yet. Uh, if you want to add texture to this to make it look like bumpy hair, then have at it. A little bit of white right there. Glazing liquid, blue and the white. Use your finger, please use your finger. I just. Okay, I'm gonna give it a go. I just want a couple of white lines. So I've got my Q-tip and I've got white 